so we're out here at Grizzly Island today. Got here about two hours before high tide. And I'm gonna fish until a couple hours after high tide. Haven't been out in a while. I've been sick the last couple weeks. But I'm feeling a lot better today. It's the allergies. I don't know if you get it, but I get allergies usually starting in March to where uh, the pollen backs up and I start getting dizzy. It's a form of vertigo, it's crazy. So I had to go get some pills for that, but uh, feeling a lot better today. And uh, hoping to catch a couple, uh, a couple keepers. I'm about uh, way in the back of Grizzly Island, uh, way past the DFG uh, check-in station. About maybe a half a mile before Salinity Gates. And uh, you'll have the GPS coordinates of exactly where I'm fishing in the description box. So hopefully uh, this bite starts up here pretty quick. I was getting hit on. Little shaker hits. It's almost time to put on a jacket, man. This wind is whipping pretty good. So I don't know if you can hear it on the audio, but uh, those guys that were coming by in the bite, they, <laughs> they recognized me from the channel. But uh, they were also saying that there's fish out here at about 20 feet. They seen some schools. So hey bro, if you're watching the video, thanks for the information. And I hope you guys caught your limit today. But uh, you know, it's just enjoyable being out here. Uh, I like Grizzly Island. The wind gets to whipping out here, but uh, Come out here, man. I, I usually get some action, even if it's just, you know, small shakers. But uh, there's definitely some big fish that come out of here. Sturgeon and some uh, big stripers. The guy down uh, by uh, on the other side of Salinity Gates down here, uh, he, he said he caught three catfish. So he'd been fishing over there with chicken livers. So uh, that's cool. You know, but uh, I've only got a couple bites so far. But uh, I'm only about an hour, hour and a half in. And uh, we're about at high tide just about. So hopefully uh, things pick up. That was another pretty good hit. That was my fault though. I was messing around and didn't get to the pool in time. Hey, it happens. But uh, reeled it in, my bait was gone, so I put another anchovy out there and cast it out. Hopefully I'll get to the pool a little bit quicker.
Well, hey, I got on the board. It was a dink. Getting another little bite right now, but... Hey, uh, while well, I got your attention, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff this year. Uh, hunting, fishing, and camping. I go archery only for hunting, and I'm going to be going up to uh, the Trinity. I'm going to be doing some stuff in Mendocino. I'm going to be doing some stuff in northern Azon. Uh, as far as camping and fishing go, I'm going to be do go doing a lot up in the eastern Sierra. I'm going to be doing stuff out of Route uh, 395 and Route 49. And I don't mind giving out to the GPS coordinates, the places I go, stuff like that. The only thing I ask is like, for instance, today we're in Grizzly Island. If you want to come fish that spot, that's fine. But please just pick up your trash. It's very important that we keep our public lands clean. Well, I think this fish must have moved on. So I think I'm going to check my bait. Man, I want to get a keeper today. <laughs> That fish was on for about a total of two seconds, if even that. Well, I got about another hour to fish. I kind of filled you in on a little bit that I'm going to be doing this year uh, with the channel. But my next couple of videos, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm heading to Cache Creek Wilderness area. There's about five or six trailheads I want to show in case you ever want to explore the Cache Creek area. And also, this weekend is the opener of turkey season. And I'm hoping to get my uh, first turkey with a compound bow. So even though I probably won't be hunting this weekend for turkey, I'm definitely going to be hunting next week. And I'm going to bring that to you as well. Uh, so I got about another hour. So uh, hopefully I can get, I could hook up with something. We'll see. even a bite but that's the way it goes sometime caught one little shaker today but hey just because i didn't catch a keeper today doesn't mean that you can't come in here tomorrow and catch one you never know out here on the fish bank if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the page and we will see you next time on california public land hunter see ya